Now that is just how long it's taken for this train to depart. If it's not, as long as the 15 traffic isn't delayed, it should be arriving around now. Oh, never mind, that's the 15 traffic. Because that's, that's, that's on five. Yeah, it should be departing around now. Yeah, it should now finally be departing. Now uh, I guess I'll end the way back to the front leaves. As long as as long as none of them Oh yeah, I think that one's about to depart as well, so um, um, yeah, that one's about to depart, guys, so I, since there's no other trains departing that I know of all arriving now, I'll end of it after this one goes. They do take a long time to depart. They depart. They literally depart quicker than uh, Barrow. And um, Barrow, and the, the trains that, that arrive at Barrow Station don't usually take this long. No. Yeah, it's definitely it's gonna be cut now. How long is it gonna be before this one departs?
Yeah, I'm trying, I'm thinking just about right here we'll get a better shot of it. Yeah, that's definitely a better shot of it. How long was it gonna take? I don't know. It's taking time, isn't it? Ha, I. Ha, ha. Was, you just made a clock joke without realising it. Because of the clock out there, it's taking its time. Hey, there you go. I never knew they were taking the clock with it's them. I think we'll get it. We'll know when it's gonna depart because it usually says when it's usually if the barrel train was here and it's gonna depart in a minute or two, it usually goes platform to body, whatever time it is service, uh, whatever time it is northern service to barrel in furnace. Uh, so well, if it's not. If it does that, then we'll get better known. Do you think that could be platform five or is that platform? Platform six, I think. Okay, platform six. I don't know what platform it is. This is the first ever time I've been in Carlisle train station. So, there's one leaving at half past and one at 31 minutes past and one at 34 minutes past. Alright, that's probably the half past leaving. Yeah. Good chance. Oh, that's an Avanti West Coast. I think. No, actually, that's Northern, I think. Yeah, it's got the yellow end, doesn't it? Yeah. From, and it's not going as fast as the van he rests no, no. usually does. Have you got an angle for coming in? Another. Oh well, I'm definitely <laughs> yeah, like because <laughs> that one will block that one. I'll I'll wait until it goes there, and I'll get the shot from over here. Nice, a, a Transpennine Express one is going to arrive now. Ooh, 
at night. <laughs> Yeah, um... Yeah, I wish it rained, man. I didn't either. <laughs> I think, yeah, it's due it to proper, like, international debate. Well, I say international. It basically is, because it goes to London Youth Stone, it? And to Glasgow, yeah, um, and I, Yeah, it sometimes comes from Glasgow, London, Edinburgh and stuff. Um, Lancaster's is usually quite busy. Let's just wait for him to go to Barrow and get on it. <laughs> and then let's... <laughs> I know it's... I'd have needed a longer parking ticket for that. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, you can't. Where did you find it? Uh, public car park by the castle. Mm -hmm. It's going £1.50 for most of the day. So oh, nice. I think that's the path. Here we go. It's not bad. I think that's the trans tower. Yeah, I think. Actually, it looks like it's coming to platform two. It might be one to barrel in furnace. They did say they had a fifth. That would be a good angle to get though, because that's going to come that here. That's going to come right through here. Nice. Here it comes. Yeah, I'm going to have to put my camera down like that while everyone gets off slow. I don't want to get anyone in the shop. Let's see what it says. I don't know if that's Transpennine, I think that's Northern. Yeah, that's Northern, that. But this is cool, guys, a little bit of right there. I mean, arriving. But yeah, since it's... Since it's gonna stop now and people are gonna get off, I'm gonna stop showing that. Oh look, a blue one. Is that the Trans Pennine Express one? Good chance, I reckon. Oh my gosh, that's like a Virgin Pendolino. But blue, yeah. But blue. Nice, I never knew they were starting to use Class 390 Pendolinos for Transpennine. No. And that's definitely not of anti West Coast. No. Yo, incredible. That's a nice looking train, Yeah. Yeah, it's saying Transpennine Express when I zoom on there, that definitely is. Nice, I never knew they started using Class 390 Pendolinos for it. No. Looks like they did though. Yeah. <laughs> this is quite cool. Yeah. And I'm going to quickly go to the front. I'm going to quickly see this bit there. <laughs> Oh yes, it's about to go now, I yeah, think. Today. Yeah, it's gonna go now. <laughs> but I'm definitely... And Manchester's I mean, that, that way. One, that one's go. Yeah, Manchester is that way, yeah, so it's... One's going. Here we go. So that one. Go. Both are gonna go now. Go. 
Both of them. Ooh. Yeah, that definitely is Transpon Island Express. Oh nice, this one's about to go as well. Yeah. That, this really is awesome, guys. Yeah. There's also these old type of trains with a flashing light up there. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing this is. Yeah, most I did not expect them to start using models of Class 390s for Transpennine Express. <laughs> you know, all they need to do now is make northern trains have class 390 <laughs> versions. <laughs> Wonder when this one's gonna leave. Um, this one is platform two.